guys so this is the kitchen a week in um as you can see it is a bit of a building site i'm not gonna lie um it's a bit chaotic so just talk you through what jack has been doing obviously as i said in my past video i've been at work this week so i've not really been involved with much of this um, but obviously before we had a big door that was here, Jack's taken that door away and he's made it smaller. We're actually going to be moving the cupboards from being on the back of this wall to like filling up this part of the cupboard. Um, and then you'll have somewhere really nice to kind of put like um, tall things. So like mops and um, vacuum cleaners, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, so that's there. Obviously the kitchen counters are gonna come out more to like here when they go in. Um, Jack has replastered this wall and patched the ceiling where it needed to be done. Um, he's also obviously done all the plaster work around here. Um, he's put light switches and um, plug sockets and things like that in for all the things that we're going to need so he's been a very busy boy uh, which is why it is a bit messy we're gonna have the controls i think um for the heated towel rail that are in the bathroom down here um and then oh yeah over here this is going to be the controller for the underfloor heating so just to zoom you out a little bit this is how it's looking oh my gosh it is a bit mad at the moment. Uh, the other thing that needs to happen is all the kind of like plumbing and boiler works, as you can see, is quite messy. So this is going to get tidied up a little bit and kind of brought over and more streamlined um, so that when the cupboard goes on, everything's in the cabinet here. So that is another job. Um, but as you can see, he's like getting on with it. There's quite a lot he's already done. So really impressed hey guys so it's another day jack has been working very hard today so he has started painting and he's put in some spotlights in the kitchen so that's really exciting um he has had a few little issues today so on the ceiling um because obviously the ceiling is like the old ceiling, not a new ceiling. Like there were some like grease marks that he couldn't properly get out. Um, so he's been using this stain sealer um, to try and combat them because they keep coming through on the ceiling and making the paint work patchy. Um, but yeah, everything's had like a fine, like one coat, generally speaking. Um, over a lot of the walls now so it's starting to look a little bit fresher in here just to give you an idea as well down here this looks exciting a little bit of the uh, kitchen that's never seen the light of day before um, but yeah it's all coming along really nicely so yeah I'm so impressed um obviously the cooker is pretty much now out of action so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that had to peel off some paint that he put on earlier because um it like flaked off that was a bit of a bit of an issue but generally speaking everything is working and going along as it should do no major dramas so far it's all looking beautiful. This is looking very beautiful. Very nice and smooth, as is this. So, yeah. Hey guys, so today is Thursday. Um, so I started this vlog at the beginning of the week and honestly, I cannot tell you, I am so glad this week is nearly over. It has been horrific dealing with the renovation in the kitchen because of the amount of mess and dust. I feel like that it's been worse than any other room we've done. However, that being said, just wanna give you a quick update on where we're at. I'm very, very happy with how things are starting to look. So let me just spin you round. 
Okay, so here we have the kitchen. Oh my gosh, look how good it's looking already. So basically, um, we've got the ceiling lights in the ceiling. I'm just gonna turn them on so you can see. So we've put in here four spotlights. Um, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, there we go. So we've put in four spotlights in the kitchen. We've removed the door that used to be into the pantry cupboard. So in here, as you can see, we're getting ready to do tiling. Um, we've made this door smaller um, so we can get full size cupboards um, in this side of the kitchen. Uh, but what that has done is allowed us to take out all the shelves here. We're gonna have this space here completely empty. So we can literally put like mops, buckets, all that kind of stuff in there. And then if you actually come into the cupboard, um, it's pretty dark in here at the moment. Uh, we are gonna put some lighting in here. Uh, we've got a bit of an issue with some damp in this corner, which we need to try and work out how to deal with, but we've got to put some shelves in here as well on this back wall. Um, so this will just be like a pantry cupboard with like all the like tins and bits and pieces in it. Um, yeah, so that's where everything's gonna go. So coming back into the rest of the room, we have painted our feature wall. So it's a gray wall. Um, now I didn't want to use a lot of gray in the flat, but I absolutely loved the kitchen colors in our old flat. I really, really, to now I just, I just, I just really enjoyed that beautiful, like warm, toasty gray. So, um, we've used it again in here. It's kind of nice that we've brought that with us, I think, in some ways. Um, so yeah, so that wall is going to be grey and there is going to be some grey cabinetry as well coming in, which is exciting. Um, uh, Jack has, yeah, painted obviously everywhere. Um, he's been uh, drawing on the floor, marking out where all the tiles are going to go. So at the moment, I'm just burning down some candles in here. So I've got a neon candle and a um, 60 degrees candle that smells like lush, which is amazing. Um, basically, we're trying to dry out some of the paintwork above the windowsill. This windowsill is a nightmare. And if anybody knows much about windowsills, let us know in the comment section below. But it is continuously wet. So the windowsill, we have kind of like put some like filler around it and stuff and tried to fill it on all the gaps and things to make it like airtight. Um, obviously you've got the vents at the top there, um, but this is just really a problem. Um, it's just, it's just wet. Um, and it got so bad in the summer that actually it was like furry. Um, this doesn't seem to be as wet, but it's definitely like, I don't know if you can sell, but it's like really glossy around there. So yeah, we're not really sure what to do about that yet. So we're just kind of stepping away from it until we get a bit more advice. Um, I think that's pretty much it so far. Hey guys, just thought I would give you a quick update on the kitchen. Uh, yeah, we have kitchen cabinets in the kitchen. So quite a lot has changed uh, since I last did an update. Um, I thought I would just kind of film you, give you a quick tour of what the kitchen is looking like now. Um, we've had a lot going on, so I'm just gonna talk you through it. Um, but we've also come across a lot of problems. And believe you me, if I could swear on camera, I would. So um, we have had the boiler team in today. They've been kind of like condensing our pipe work. So it's all very like linear with the boiler um, for when we build the cupboard that comes out. Um, as you can see, our floor is down. So this came from uh, Wix um, and they're just really beautiful kind of like slate effect tiles. Really, really gorgeous got a dishwasher so the, so the dishwasher came from uh john lewis at this time of the year they often have a lot of like reduced um kitchen stuff like fridges and freezers and things like that um in their sale 
in my John Lewis, they literally had this on the shop floor and I was literally like, oh my gosh, this is exactly what we need. Um, so it's just like a Bosch integrated dishwasher. I won't open it, but yeah, that's now in place, uh, which is really exciting. We've got uh, the cabinets where the sink's gonna go and we've just checked that it does fit. I am slightly concerned about the weight, but apparently it'll be fine so these are pretty pretty sturdy cabinets from ikea there will be like a little bit of a gap here and we're just trying to like work out what we're going to do with this space um it's going to be a little bit bigger than this but we're thinking maybe like shelves for like wine or something like that to go in there the cupboard here has been floored the shelves removed and we've changed the piping that's in there so uh, that's all happening we've got the big cupboard here so this will have the cooker in it and the microwave and then like a cupboard at the top and the bottom the fridge freezer is in place so Yeah, we've got our fridge freezer in place. Again, another integrated appliance. Um, our countertops. This is just like a off cut from one of the countertops because we've been playing around with how it's going to look. Um, so this is, yeah, just another like little kind of teaser for you as to what the countertops are going to look like. Um, and then the units will kind of end here. Um, and kind of there'll be units at the top here as well so um but there is definitely a story time about what's going on in here because as you can see there's things that have been fitted that have been removed um we've got a whole big drama with this um and basically yeah so uh basically what i'm going to say to you is if you are thinking about doing your kitchen whatever you do do not buy an ikea kitchen uh and try and pair it with anything else other than stuff from ikea because it is a nightmare um we're having to make so many tiny little tweaks uh that it is just ridiculous so for example we bought our worktop from kitchen express which is a standard worktop size uh, it doesn't fit ikea cupboard cupboards so we're having to bring the walls out like build a fake wall on top of our wall um in between the different cupboards and like over on this side uh to push the counter forward so we've got an overhang um, and it doesn't just sit completely flush with the cupboards because that looked incredibly odd. Um, so yeah, there was like a 10 mil variation, which was incredibly annoying. Equally, IKEA kitchen cabinet doors don't work with Bosch appliances. Um, so we're having to either cut into the tiles that we've laid to put our Bosch dishwasher in, which we don't want to change to an Ikea one. The Bosch one only cost me £215, an Ikea one would cost £450, which is incredibly mental. Um, so yeah, we either need to cut into the floor um, or like the, take up the floor tile that we've laid, um, or floor tiles, should I say, or we need to raise the kitchen counters and cupboards by about 15 to 20 mil, which we don't actually have the ceiling height to do on one of the sides. So either one side's gonna be slightly higher than the other uh, by about 12 mil, or we cut into the floor and do that, and then they'll be the same. So, <sighs> it's a lot of tweaking uh we just didn't know that we were going to have to do so it's incredibly complicated uh jack has had the biggest headache and as a result where we should be like putting our countertops in now 
we're literally like falling further and further behind because every time we try to fit like a new appliance or um, you know a new bit of the kitchen there is a problem uh, and we have to kind of find a workaround to make it happen. So normally with IKEA kitchen counters so normally with IKEA kitchens, they usually run on a rail that attaches to the wall. We've actually had to remove the rail to allow us an extra five mil um, to basically put our countertops on and obviously build a build out on the wall to get the difference in size that we need, which is just mental. Um, and they don't like tell you that like, level of detail obviously unless maybe you go into an ikea store and they can explain to you the challenges that you're going to face in person but because jack's quite handy he can like spot all these little things before like it happens and 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 we can come up with solutions but it has meant we've had to like tweak our plans a little bit so for example on this wall here so we're gonna have to like put like a little shelf or something in uh, to hide the fact that when the tiles stop, there's gonna be like 12 mil of tile coming down like width. So it's gonna be like that far away from the wall. So we're gonna put like a little shelf edge on it so you can kind of like put stuff on it maybe, who knows. Um, so yeah, um, it's been incredibly complicated. Uh, not to mention the fact that um, when the boiler guys came round, um, they had to like do a quick fix on the boiler because they hadn't like tightened the screws enough last time or something. I don't know. Um, and then we're now just waiting for the boiler person to come and sign off the boiler, which is amazing. Um, the towel rail, when we tested it in the bathroom, just to make sure it was working, uh, walked to the door in the bathroom. So now the bathroom door doesn't shut properly and we're having to like zhuzh it. So that's another thing we're dealing with. Um, the list goes on and on. We are two days away from Christmas and my hope was, was that we were going to have a semi partially working kitchen for Christmas and the reality of that is that it's just not going to happen. So yeah we are gonna go and see some friends and family for christmas um just like christmas day and then come back here in the evening and who knows cold turkey sandwiches um but yeah it's um a work in progress it's all happening it's happening very slowly um we are getting there it's going to look phenomenal when it's done it's just all these tiny little things that if we had just gone to, I don't know, like B&Q or somewhere else, um, we would have not had these problems um, because they would have been a standard size fitting and not IKEA fittings. And yeah, we just didn't know, we didn't know. Um, I always kind of like heard that you had to like use or like they recommend you use like IKEA stuff with IKEA kitchens didn't realize to what extent and the reason why. So now we do and um, yeah, Whew, it's insane. Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of this vlog. I, I'm gonna leave it here. I wanna say thank you so much um, for watching and just spending so much of your time watching my renovation. It's so lovely to have you guys um, on board. And yeah, it's just have a lovely Christmas, you know, enjoy yourselves, spend time with family and friends, have a lovely time. I am definitely looking forward to sitting down and having a glass of bubbly and some really nice food and not feeling like I'm covered in brick dust. And being that I work in retail, it has been incredibly busy. Um, but yeah, I'm just so excited to get Christmas kind of out the way and look forward to next Christmas when all of this will be a thing of the past. Anyway, I'm gonna go, enjoy, have a lovely Christmas, see you in the new year, take care guys, bye!